All right, welcome back. Now, I might not be too long on this live stream because I'm not feeling too well. My neck, I don't know, I think I slept on it wrong or something. I had bad crook in my neck. So you have to forgive me. But who knows? I might just babble on. But if I cut the live stream short because I need to uh, you know, sort of rest. But I wanted to uh, respond to this article that I saw from this guy, Sir John Hayes, some type of uh, politician, some conservative politician over there in the UK. OK, this uh, surfaced a few hours ago in three, four hours ago, Sir John Hayes. The American Bully XL is a monstrous killer that must be banned. We must outlaw this breed before more innocent people are killed. So far this year, there have been at least two fatal bully breed dog attacks. Sir Hayes is also requesting an update on the public space protection orders. Okay. Now, I wanted to say that this seems like a con to me. This seems like a con. And it's all for show. To project the idea that they care and that they really want to stop attacks like this. And I say that obviously because he only names one breed. The American Bully XL. Okay, for those who don't know. That is an American bully. And the American bully is broken up into four categories. See that right here? Divided into four categories. The pocket bully, standard, classic, and XL. There's also a double XL. So what good does it do to only ban the XL? XLs are bigger, but the other ones can kill as well and have killed. So what's the and and they can still own other bully breeds. And that is what I wanted to highlight in this video. It makes no sense, and it seems like a con. Pit bull owners, bully breed owners, this doesn't bother them. And getting these pit bull bands removed is all for show, too. They're really just trying to promote these things, get, get people to go out and adopt them. You know, because in every jurisdiction, every area where pit bulls are banned, they can have other bully breeds and other mixes and people are still being attacked. Miami is a real good example. OK, uh, as far as I'm aware, except for that, that town in Louisiana, shout out to them. I, I don't think any bully breeds are allowed there. And that's the way it should be. Look, man, if it's a bully breed, it needs to go. But to just identify and, and what's crazy about this article is that he specifies American Bully XL. And then in the subtitle, they. They uh, refer to it as bully dog attacks. Well, he's not talking about only banning. Or, or banning all bully dogs. He specifically said American Bully XL. That, that is a specific bully breed. Okay, stop with that. Stop with that. And, and that really makes everything else irrelevant. There's no need to even go over this goofy article. They're just talking about one type of bully breed. Get out of here. No. That just on its face don't make no sense. Stop with that. Now, we know about the list over there in the UK. 
It's like uh, they ban like four or five different bully breeds. And then the list of bully breeds that are legal is extensive. Longer than the banned list. So what's the point? And as you see, even with the ban over there, a good chunk of reports come out of the UK. The, that come from at least this channel. A good chunk of them come from the UK. So they're all a front. What really needs to go is the, the fighting breed itself, the bully breed. So I'm not even going to read all this. They're going, all they're doing is talking about, and they, and, and this is the crazy thing. They mention it right here. They point out that they're still operating on the 1991 law that they say was a step in the right direction, but it, uh, bans the owning breeding and selling of just four breeds they even phrased it like that just four breeds the pit bull terrier japanese i think it's uh so soa Do dogo argentino and the fila but why what sense does that make but you can have all the other breeds it's just nonsense it, it just seems like a very old, low IQ way of thinking that the general public is stupid. You know, you want to create a loophole to give the impression that, that you are a ruler who cares about public safety. So you, you want to come up with some anti-dangerous dog bill, but you still you don't want to turn your back on the dog lovers, the pit bull lovers. So you create a loophole. Hey, you can't have this particular breed. It can't be a pure breed or whatever. It can't be this bully breed. But you can have the other breeds. Stop it. Nobody's falling for that. Look at this. Look at this. This. This, ladies and gentlemen, is a complete list of bully breeds. And you really... You really just want to ban four breeds? The Bull Mastiff. Listen, y'all tell me if you care about the different mutation. And that's all this is. I said that uh, bully breeds are the most mutated. Here's the proof. Look at all the different versions there are. Does the type of muted mutation matter to you or the damage what matters nobody cares about the breed with, with, with what type of bully breed it is bull mastiff american uh staffordshire cane corso these are all bully breeds you ban just four you really think people are that stupid you can have a rottweiler but can't have uh, an american bully xl Y'all really still think the general public is that dumb to where they'll believe that you trying to make the country, the, the society safer with laws like this. We know that this is a joke. It's a, a slap in the face. A slap in the face and it's just pointless to even go over all of this nonsense. And all they're doing is reflecting on the statistics uh, dog attack statistics and some of the attack stories that have come in. that's all okay well if it's so horrible if it's so horrible then get rid of all bully breeds stop playing these games where you want to make a loophole it's sort of way of uh nudging the pit bull lovers pit bull slash bully breed lovers you know nudging them wink wink we're going to ban this particular bully breed, but you can you can get any of the other bully breeds. Wink, wink. We're not stupid, man. And we don't care what type of bully breed it is. They all need to go. Huh? They all need to go. I don't care if one got saggier skin on its face than the other. If one is built funny, 
Who cares? Nobody's making that an issue except for the pit bull lovers themselves. That's because that's just them creating their own loophole. It is truly ridiculous. Now, there was a uh, article that surfaced here where a woman said something ridiculous that I still don't appreciate. I read this earlier today because it surfaced today and it stayed on my mind. It was this article right here. 15 dog attacks in London already in 2023 as children as young as seven bitten. Puppies maul. Two dogs shot dead and police horse savaged. Dog attacks in England and Wales have risen by more than a third in the last five years. Okay, so I read this article. I'm like, okay. Okay. A positive article, finally. That's what I thought. And then you go down here and they got some input from some woman named Maria Murray, Maria Murray. She blames the increase in dog attacks on COVID, the COVID lockdown. And we all know about that, how they constantly try to use that excuse. And this is a quote from her. She said, we know that a lack of socialization in early life can lead to a fear it can lead to fear or worry and most cases of aggression come from fear and worry end quote ma'am that is a lie that is an outright bold-faced lie that is a lie most cases of aggression from dogs do not come from fear and worry. It comes from the dog viewing what it sees as an easy target, which is usually something much smaller than itself. Something that looks helpless. That's not fear and worry, that's bullying. Hence, bully breeds bully breeds that's not fear and worry when these things see you from afar and run you down run onto your territory and attack you that's not fear and worry what are you talking about why should we believe that if it doesn't make sense why should we believe it see how that works Simple objectivity. You're going to have to help me out. Ma'am, I'm going to need an explanation. Shout out to Mr. Payne, who has gifted, gifted membership, gifted one membership. Shout out to Mr. Payne. Can somebody help me out here? I mean, when you think about it, have you ever seen, do y'all remember that dog attack in the elevator where that dog slithered between two adults, the one in the parking lot where it ran from a block away? How was the, was, did that look like fear and worry? No, that is a lie. Now, I tried to contact Maria Murray. I couldn't find her. I'm going to keep trying. You're the expert. You're going to have to explain that. We looked at the film. We read the reports. That's not true. It's just not true. Okay? 
So that's all I wanted to point out. I don't need, but this is a real good article. This is a real good article. Aside from that, okay, aside from that foolishness right here, it's a good article because it, in, it includes a number of very recent fatalities, okay, that has come out of the UK and attacked. See that? So it's like, uh, you remember this one? It's like a mini collection. The largest I found, and we remember this one. And um, I'm seeing more articles like this. The uh, awareness seems to be picking up. It seems to be picking up. I recently uh, shared some analytics. I'm, I still don't know, but they say my channel usually gets 50, it's like 50 to 60,000 views every 28 days. Views every 28 days. But now it's like 46,000 views every 28 days now I'm gonna keep track of it because I've never kept track of it I'm gonna keep track of it and I will let you all know if it increases with time I believe it is you see in more articles like this look at pitbull victim awareness channel look at how gradually their views uh, increase same with everybody's channel. I said in the members area, I believe all anti-dog content creators are going to have popular channels in a, in a matter of time. It's just a matter of time because we're just dealing with something that most people feel is taboo and don't want to talk about, don't want to deal with. You know, it's rare for people to see a group of people who don't feel shamed into you know avoiding being critical of dogs you know we criticize dog culture with our chest out there's a, you, you cannot guilt shame us and run this oh it's god's creature how dare you evil person you can't run that on everybody you know, it feels good to let you know that you know i hope you fully understand that you can't run that on us these things are mutants god don't want them to exist <laughs> okay firmly believe that that's that's a fact irrefutable so you can't hide behind that how many of y'all saw this Talking about fear and worry. Look at this. Did that dog look, did that look like fear and worry? This just surfaced a few hours ago. 11 year old boy thrown around like a rag dog by Rottweiler. Notice how they usually attack small people. Are you, do you know who you're talking to? Go to my Twitter, ma'am. And you'll see some of the videos I look at. Especially that recent attack on a toddler over there in India. That's fear and worry, huh? You have 10 dogs surrounding a two-year-old. Attacking them. Attacking her. That's fear and worry. That's the majority of attacks. These things are the aggressors. They're not indirectly intimidated. People are not uh, unintentionally startling them. Stop with that nonsense. Scaring. Mutts are not scared of nothing. All I'm just saying, stop with that.
We are not stupid. We're not stupid. I can't keep up with a tax like this, ma'am. You're not going to run that on us. Don't don't try that. It's in your best interest to retract that statement. Don't put information misinformation out into the public like that, ma'am. And it goes for the rest of you so-called behaviorists, you so-called experts. Stop lying to the public. That is an outright lie. Stop regurgitating what you read on Google. Most attacks are not in response to fear and being worried. You don't understand that dumb mutant's brain and you know it. And you know that they don't attack out of no fear and worry. Right? Shout out to everybody able to join me. For this very brief live stream. My neck hurts so bad. Oh my goodness. I don't know what it. I slept on it wrong. Oh my goodness. This just sitting up hurts. So I'm going to lay down. I just wanted to make that point. And uh, vent my frustration. Okay sir. What's his name? Sir John Hayes. Cut that out. If you're going to talk about banning dangerous dogs, you you have to at least get rid of all bully breeds. That has to be a standard first step. So we'll see who the first respectable, humane leader who who does that. We'll see who that will be right and a, a pre shout out to whoever it may be before you even do it you, you must ban this fighting breed what is wrong with you stop play, playing these silly games shout out to everybody i'm gonna take some ibuprofen maybe i have some inflammation and I'm going to try to be back on a little later. And I hope you all are able to join me as we continue with this crusade.